Greetings and gratitude to all life forms and life workers who have found this. Happy birthday, January 1st. Thank you for being alive, January 1st. I appreciate you being here for this video. I am the Third Eyed Lion, here to offer you a, a daily birthday reading for you today as your birthday. So, the butterfly is your main prevailing symbol, and this is through a lot of systems. I am primarily using this as a baseline with other research I have done on the Zodiac interpretations added on. The, de the name of the book is Birthdays, the element, uh, ex the element Encyclopedia Birthdays by Teresa Chung. So your best quality you might have noticed is you're very motivated. You continue to pursue. You have a relentless quality when it comes to the things you want and you're honest with yourself on those things and honest with others. But sometimes because of that, you can be very hard to understand when others see you and they may call you manipulative or controlling or impatient. And this is from a perception, usually projection, not other people pushing that energy onto you in their own way. But you know you're probably a Capricorn, if you didn't know. And your ruling planet is Saturn. So Saturn is really there to show you the creativity of what you're doing and the knowledge. The teacher is here to show throughout your life that there is always a learning opportunity. Every moment is that learning opportunity if you choose for it to be. And good numbers for your one and two. And when you are able to look at yourself in a healthy way, know that burnout it might be a big issue for you. So when you can just talk about your insecurities, have that communication with family, have that group around you, it will really help because alcoholism, drug abuse, tends to happen to people, maybe sugar abuse, can um, hurt this energy of this person burn on this day. Good ways to work with that is go outside, be in nature, be one with the world around you. And if you notice when you need that pick me up, just connect to the planet, connect to the world around you and the energies within you and know that there is a dichotomy. There is a back and forth between the two. So a power thought or an affirmation for you is when one pathway closes, you will have to turn back. And when you do, there is a new one that is open. When one door is shut, not only does a window open, a key glimmers in the corner. And then another door somewhere else opens. So I don't like that saying when one door closes, another one opens, because I think it's narrow. You're not acknowledging the full range of possibilities. When something that you think goes wrong January 1st, it really affects that energy within you. And a lot of people who are born on Jan January 1st have a lot of willpower. So maybe some of this readings may not be completely accurate to you. This is true for all the Zodiac, but January 1st have a power of self-improvement. And because of that, if you think something in this reading or any mystic art that someone is performing or is, in my case, offering, a communicating with you, when you think that it's not valid, look within you. And sometimes that leadership quality, that natural politician, that um, person who is the first one through, the trailblazer, the cavalier, that energy is within you deeply. Your destiny is to be that one who speaks up for the voice of the people, to be the one who knows that inside you, you can give this massive awakening, this realization to all of those people by speaking, by being that voice for those who are not able to communicate. See, very few people understand communication. They use ums and buts, and even I are working on that and continue to, and different speech techniques. So those born on January 1st, or even most Capricorns, 
have a ability to articulate words in way other people may not. Have you ever noticed when you were having a conversation, a person who was born on January 1st, that you know the word when they're stumbling, right? They're like, uh, uh, they don't know what the next word is. They have the idea, they have a concept, but they do not know what the word is. And you just say it. Some people don't do that. It's some cultures you're not supposed to do that. I understand that. But if you've ever had that experience, like I have, when it just clicks and they're like, okay, that's exactly it. And then the conversation continues without any hiccup or speed bump. That is something that a person January 1st can do in a lot of situations. So in career, you're born to be a specialist as a CEO, as self-employed in medicine or genealogy or geology or any type of thing that really takes a level degree. This got a buddy moth flying around. Any degree, uh, insectology or, or any type of study of anything that can give you that deep level of skill and application of skill. And in your love life, know that you can be really seductive. You can really walk into a room and people of the opposite sex, of the same sex, or people who are non-binary, they're straight, can notice your energy because of yourself, your, your realization of just being you. But however, once you get deeply involved, if it's someone who is creative and you want someone who can keep you on your toes, someone who can dance with you, like the moth, someone who's not afraid to pursue something that is bright, but also knows its places in the dark and can exist in both. And that's the good type of love. Someone who you know when everything's going well, it's great. But when things are shit and it's the worst it can possibly be, you know it's still great because they're there with you. And they're creative with you. And you are it's not shit because from that shit, it becomes soil. And from that soil, you have beautiful things that grow. So it's just a change of perspective. And you will be very lucky when you are, can make deep plans, really think about what you're going to do and structure it and have this belief that it will happen because it that manifestation is really strong. If you know anyone born from July 24th to August 23rd, you have a good shared energy with that period group of people. And you will also have a clear understanding of how to bond with people, of how to see that, yes, they're similar, but they're also different. And that your, their willpower affected their zodiac, where your willpower affected yours. See, a lot of astrologers are kind of biblical zodiac, meaning that the zodiac is gospel and you strict to it and you are what you are because you were born as that. I believe for most people that's the case. But certain individuals or certain chart signs or whatever, uh, day or time of birth could, location of birth, all affect your own predominant willpower force within you and is using your solar plexus. And this force of, you know, sunlight of energy within you is very strong when it comes to your challenge. Your challenge is when you make that mistake, when you did that thing that you said was wrong and you, or you made a plan and it fell through and you really focused on it and it just didn't happen. And you got up to bat, you sat there, whatever sport it is. And when, whenever that moving object came at you, you were able to either hit it or not hit it, but it wasn't good enough because you understand that there's so much room for self-improvement, but you're good enough now and you will continue to be better. But when you are that better, you still will be good enough then. So thank you. And your card from the Beyond Lumeria deck by Izzy Ivy is Lumen Essence. The essence of luminosity, the heart-centered frequency of divine waiting, meaning not wait, waiting, waiting. When you are partially submerged in anything, 
that allows the other part of you that is not submerged to have an entirely different polaric frequency than the other part of you that is surrounded by whatever liquid. And this is a symbolic metaphor that we are almost always submerged in that lower liquid of life. And very few people are able to be luminosity, be that light within them. You are. And that frequency will oftentimes be attracted to insects, to creatures that either want some of it, to destroy of it, to bask in it, or to honor it. And your ability to articulate your boundaries, what is willing and unwilling to occur around your space, and how the intentionality of that is key. You have within you the dragonfly force, that moving force of supreme mobility, of adaptability, of creativity. This is within you when you can see that you ripple out. You create this echoing force everywhere you go. And there is a responsibility to that. And understanding that you're not completely responsible, so don't com- to it, but you have some responsibility. For everything that is both feeling really hot right now, it was once cold and it will be cold again, even though it is seemingly hot. For everything that is cold, it was once hot and it will be hot again. But the lifespan of us humans and the cosmic time space doesn't always apply. But when you work with this timeless style deck or other energies that kind of transcend the idea of time, when you think of the magma stone, or the, is no different than the flowing lava stream. It is only different because of the separation of, of vibration, where that the magma is really vibrating hot and fast and close, so it is flowing liquid, where the lava rock is vibrating slow and farther apart. That's where there's holes in it, and for the process, some people use essential oils as a diffuser with the lava rock. And any type of medicinal thing, look into it before you go into it. If anyone says essential oils, look with your own allergies, see if you have any pets or children or other things that could be very sensitive to that. Because I noticed uh, for the January 1st person, there is a burnout. There, so you have so much thought. Sometimes you things slip through the the. You know, the grid, they slip through the net. And some few fish don't make it through the net. And some farmers would say that that's a good sign. The fish who didn't make it through the net, some fishermen and not farmers would say that when they would go through the net, they would go back to nature. They would go back to the source where they came from and where they spawned from. Same is true for this innermost energy within us. So thank you for your luminescence, and may that continue to grow in this calendar year. I appreciate your time, and happy birthday.